you know, Howard, next couple weeks, obviously I, I've said it before, look, the NBA will just kind of keep playing and keep trucking along. But obviously we talked about the Boston Celtics, number one seed, obviously in the East. What do the Milwaukee Bucks have to do over the next couple of weeks for you? What do you want to see from them? Obviously, Doc Rivers now the head coach, and it started off slow, has gotten better. It looks to be they're a formidable opponent to maybe take down the Boston Celtics. But what do you want to see more of, or what haven't they done since they've Doc Rivers has taken over as head coach? It's nothing that they haven't done. I just think that the Bucks, from the moment they made the deal for Damian Lillard, they obviously traded uh, defense for offense and swapping out Drew Holiday for Damian Lillard, and they've lost some depth uh, over the course of the last year as well. And so their margin for error just isn't uh, very high. And the good news since Doc Rivers arrived, and yes, it was a little bumpy at the beginning, right. but they ha- seem to have really found a way to maximize the lillard Giannis combination those guys playing off of each other i think they're featuring that more they've been able to establish a little bit better chemistry between the two of them and 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 leverage their respective talents um to the max and i don't think that that was happening before under adrian griffin and so uh, i think the bucks are a, a much more believable team as a contender now than they were a month a month and a half ago uh but you know we're still going to come down to are they good enough to beat Boston. And it's fascinating, Kirk, in the East, frankly, because the Celtics are such an obvious favorite in the East. We're now down to saying, well, who's most likely to make the run to the conference finals to face them? And the the fact is, the Bucs have a very strong case. The Cavaliers have made a strong case for themselves over the course of this season, quietly having a, a really strong season despite a lot of injuries. The Knicks, if they can get healthy, are, you know, a decent bet to make a deep run. And the Sixers are sitting there looming, not just the Sixers are looming and sinking. I don't know if you can loom and sink simultaneously, (laughs) but uh, they're they're not in in a very good way right now without Joel Embiid. But if Embiid comes back, as I think they're expecting sometime, uh, you know, mid to late March or maybe by mid April, you know, no one quite knows. It's it's been kind of a bit of a, a mystery with Embiid's status. But if he's back and if they haven't sunk too far, plug Embiid back into that lineup and the Sixers are going to be right back in this conversation as well. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.